what God giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the same thing. Only the word of God can change your world. As you listen to this broadcast by Christian Information Network Ministry, your world shall shout. Shout hallelujah. I think you can do better. Shout hallelujah. The gospel is a wonderful story. It's a wonderful story. Because the gospel is a good news. It's a good news. And of course, this wonderful story of love, as the choir have sang, that Jesus Christ came to show us love. I was talking to the, maybe the workers and the leaders and those who came early. We're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the last verse there. That there abided three things. The first one is faith. The second one is hope. And the third one is love. And the Bible now says the greatest is love. And the whole gospel, the whole law is summarized in the message of love. My prayer today is that the power of the gospel will touch your life. And you will never remain the same. I want to welcome you before you sit down. Welcome somebody by your side. Say you are welcome. To the final day of convocation 2023. That I'm glad you are here. And I rejoice with you. I show my love to you. That God almighty will surprise you. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord, for this privilege to have this program since Wednesday to today. To, to today. For what you have done in our midst and in our lives will return glory to you. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. I ask, Lord, that in this moment as your word comes forth that you speak to us and quicken our spirits that the power of the gospel will touch every life for in jesus name i pray amen. make that amen louder amen. let's have our seats we thank the lord <clears throat> who started with us since wednesday and we've been considering the theme of this year convocation as is stated in Matthew 24 verse 14. Let's go back there. Matthew 24 verse 14 says, And this gospel of the kingdom <clears throat> shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the hand come this gospel of the kingdom <clears throat> the word this is referring to a particular gospel this is referring to a particular thing and of course the word this Shows that there are what? Others. If there are no others, there could not be a particular word, this, a reference to a particular thing. And in the course of this convocation, we have heard so many things from ministers. And also all that we have preached by the grace of God. Even my son who ministered to the youth all the way from United States. 
in fact he was saying looking at it from another angle was telling the young people he said was challenging them what kind of gospel are they listening to or are they preaching said there are three gospels that others are preaching he spoke about the gospel of Cain it spoke about the gospel of Balaam and uh, he spoke about the gospel of the Korah group Dotan, Koran and Abiram who resisted Moses when you talk about the gospel using the word the news the message what was the message of Cain it was like a message of bitterness and there are people today that seek go about with hatred what you carry is what you give out what is in you is what you reflect the gospel if the true gospel is what you carry the same thing will reflect in your day to day life now you see Cain hated Abel and Cain happened to be they were happen to be brother brothers of the same parents as a matter of fact the two sons of Adam the first creation now you can imagine you sleeping with somebody and the man hates you today people are in the church they hate people in the home they hate somebody will last with you there is a hatred and of course when you are speaking you are speaking out of hate when you are speaking you are speaking out of jealousy now you are bringing something out of your life that is Cain for you until he had that opportunity to kill his brother what of Balaam? Of course, all those things substantiated what all the preachers have been referring to that I also speak about. You see, in the early church, how can you believe that there are doctrines of Balaam? Now, Balaam existed in the Old Testament. Balaam was a kind of a prophet. And of course, he was hired by Balak to come and curse Israel when they were on the, their journey to the promised land. But because Balak said they were set of people who were going from one nation, one land to the other, and they were taking over the lands. So, because of that, so that they would not invade my land, come and help me to curse them. Despite the fact that Balaam told Balak and said these people they are blessed and he just bribed him, gave him a lot of gifts and he raised altars. I said sometimes that you see altars, raising altar is a very powerful thing. Altar is potent. Every child of God must have an altar. Because the enemies you are contending with outside there, they have altars. What is an altar? Altar is a place where you are operating at an advantage position. Advantage in the sense that there is a backup. There is a power backup. Nothing is normal or natural in the world. Everybody is depending on the particular power. It's either is the power of God or the power of the devil. And that's why you must make up your mind. When we talk about the power of the gospel, because that's what I'm speak, sharing briefly. The power of the gospel. If you have the gospel, if you have the power of the gospel, it becomes a backup for you. So that you will be able to rule over the powers of the enemy. And so he raised altars. What is that the altars meant? To curse God's people. I pray for you. Every altar that is raised against your life. In the covens of wisdom and wishes. 
I decree that the fire of God scatters such altars. Your amen is weak. I say every altar contending with your life, contending with your destiny, raised by anybody, anywhere, I decree they scatter in Jesus' name. He began to try to curse. But instead of him cursing, he was blessing. But why do we still talk about the doctrine of Balaam? Because when he could not curse Israelites, he was the one that advised Balak. I said, if it will curse this, nobody can curse them. But let me tell you what you can do. Let's create a party. And let your daughters dress loosely. And invite Israel on the journey, you know, to come into that party. He said, when they get involved in immorality. And the, and the food you have cooked, which is for idols. When they eat, forget about it. It is God himself that will help you to deal with them. Hallelujah. And it happened like that. Not less than 14,000 died. And so, in the New Testament, there are still, the Bible was talking about the doctrine of Balaam. Even in the church, in the letter of Jesus Christ to the seven churches. The seven churches in Asia Minor. He was talking about a church. He said, this church you allow the doctrine of Balaam. What is the doctrine of Balaam? Permission for immorality. Permission for idolatry. Hallelujah. Are you with me, church? You know, some people, they worship idol without knowing that they are idol worshippers. No wonder God is fighting against them. Because one of the first commandments of God is this. Hear ye, O Israel, thou shalt not have any other God beside me. Are you listening to me? You must not have any other God. You must not have any other thing that you depend on. You must not have any other thing that you rely on apart from me. And today, people still rely on some things. The question is that, what are the things? What do you rely on? Apart from the almighty God, what do you rely on? Are you not still worshipping idol? There are some people now, when it is, you know, masquerade festival, they will remember that uh, they are from the masquerade family. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is then they want to travel home to go and eat the ekuru. <laughs> masquerade concussion. Masquerade ekuru. There are people that will not eat the new yam. Until they hear from home. That the rituals has been done. It is then they will eat new yam in Ibadan or Lagos or wherever they are. They are idol worshippers. In as much you still believe in that idol that they have to sacrifice to before you can eat the new yam. You may not be there, but you believe in it. You are an idol worshipper. So the doctrines of Balaam still exist today. Worshipping idols. All your mama told you. And said, I know you have become a Christian. I know you will not come. Just send money. Just send money. Because for the idol this year. Because of this Ogu festival. Or it is Oshun, Oshun festival. Everybody, everybody is having to. Uh, everybody will be uh, having new dresses. So. I must not be different among my mates. So send money to buy my own clothes. If you send that money, that money, you are an idol worshiper. Your money is not for idol worshiping. 
God, you see, some people, it is God that is fighting against them. It is God that is blocking their ways. They will think that it is a one enemy. No. They are the one blocking the way of themselves. By the reason of the fact that they have given themselves to idol worshipping. Is somebody hearing me this morning? Hallelujah. Just a minute. Praise God. If you involve in such things, you are worshipping idols. That's what my emphasis is. God hates idols. God will fight against any idol worshiper. God is jealous. He said, I am a jealous God. I am a jealous God. Don't worry. They've started fast. The Muslim fast now. And there are some of you who are waiting for when they will finish the fast. So that you can eat Ilya meat. You are an idol worshiper. Hallelujah. You are an idol worshiper. He said, ah, can you call? Ah, can you? Whichever explanation you want to give. Praise God. Because the Bible says everything the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to the idols. If there is any, Mama Ayani, come. This is a staunch Muslim before she gave her life to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ki Jesus took back on 19. That in 1979, Jesus took back on. She won't say I'm going to say I'm going to say. Oh, yes, that's okay. If you have a microphone, praise God. Give me the other mic there. Yeah. Uh huh. This is really what's what's silly. Hey, Maka Gugwe, Maka Gugwe. Hey, Kosso. What's 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 in Cotton Soye, only Cotto to Mossy. Oh, yeah, I saw Tina. I saw one dedicated for Cab. Hallelujah, Dina. One in one dedicate and I am from Hallelujah. So Cabba, Shampo, Kenny Cabba. I beg. I be na nothing so Satan ilokuta abi o ye ki Satan kuti kula to joy abi ko ye kuti ku eh mo ye million se yon to tin so kuta la to joy eh praise God te ba le dedicate when you say you dedicate something to a particular thing is that God? Hallelujah. Is Kaaba God? God is in heaven. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise God. <clears throat> we should not deceive ourselves. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all nations. You see, the problem we have is that there are a lot of compromises in the church. You will explain it away. You will say, well, it does not matter. And these are the things you will eat that are weakening your spiritual life. Because you don't want to cut off. Praise God. When they are doing the, that festival, if you sit in your house, you will not, many people, they will not bring food to you. They will not bring food to you. But some of you, you know four or five houses you want to go as if you have never eaten ram before. If you are tired, if you want to eat ram, go and buy goat now. Go to meat and, and boil it and eat. Praise God. Now, you see, we compromise the gospel. He said it does not. No. I, we are Muslim, we are serving the same God. If you are still a Muslim, we are not serving the same God. We are not what? Serving the same God. Delete that from your thoughts. And if you are a Christian, if you don't know that, you are just deceiving yourself. Because the God 
definition of God to a Christian. There are three personalities that made God. God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. When somebody say God has no son. Jesus is not the son of God. He's an enemy of the cross of Christ. He's an enemy of the gospel. Because the full gospel is that Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is God. Hallelujah. First John chapter 5 verse 7. He said there are three that bear records in heaven. The Father, the Word, that is Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And these three, they are what? They are one. Amen. If you ask me as a Christian, how many gods do we have? One God. But manifesting in three persons. Hallelujah. One God. But there are three distinct personalities that make this one God. You may not understand until you are born again. Until you are a child of God. It is then you will know what it, what, what it means when we talk about the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. John chapter 1 tells us in the beginning, first John chapter 1, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was with God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And there is nothing made that was made. In him is life. And this life is the light of men. You cannot have life. You cannot have light. Until you give your life to Jesus. If Jesus does not come into your heart. And change your life. You don't have life. You are only existing. You don't have the life of God. But when Jesus comes into your heart. You have life. And because you have life. The light of God. Will guide you perpetually. Somebody shout hallelujah. So the gospel of Balaam. Balaam encourage idolatry. Balaam encourage fornication. And the third one, the Korah, Dota, and Abiram, they were opposers. Hmm? Opposers. They always critic what is right. They were the people who withstood Moses. Wait. Do you know what they said? They said, Moses, are you the only one God is using? God is using everybody. You are taking too much to yourself. Because they are one of these elders in Israel. They thought that they have the same mate with Moses. They said, ah, we have been seeing you carrying sisters. Because they also have sisters. Kolobo, you know, we have sisters. Eh? We, put, we put incense and we use it to pray. You use it to make prophetic declaration. And Moses said, that is alright. Let's do something tomorrow. Bring your own sisters. Hallelujah. I will bring my own. Let us see the one God has called. Hallelujah. And of course they brought death. And when they brought it. They were still doing shakara. And Moses said. God. If these people die like all the way men died. Then you are not called me. You know it is good to have the power of God. It is good to have the power of God. If you don't have power back up, you cannot do anything. When Elijah said, according to my word, there shall not be rain for three and a half years. So that Samaria and Israel might learn their lesson. <clears throat> so that Ahab, Ahab and Jezebel the witch, 
that have been controlling Israel, they will know there is a prophet in Israel. He didn't say according to the word of God. He said according to my word. And God, he did not talk to God about it. <laughs> and God said, Elijah, you have said it. Though you did not tell me about it. But because, but you can never be disgraced. Anything you say stands. So because of that, God lock up heaven. Three and a half years. After three and a half years, you know God is merciful. And the people are dying, everything is finished, farming everywhere, they almost be and there uh, and god has to god has to appeal to elijah may you come to a place in god that heaven honors your word that heaven stand by you god has to beg elijah you are the one that lock heaven no? but come please let's lose heaven i want to bring rain to my people so I'm sending you back. Where you declare it, go back and declare the opening of heaven. Hallelujah. And when he have met him, and he have said, King said, You are the one. Oh, at last. We have seen him. The one that is troubling Israel. And Elijah said, No, I am not the troubler of Israel, but you and your father's house. Because you have given yourself to idolatry, to bow worship. Who is that prophet? Who is that sound preacher who believes in the power of the gospel that can challenge authority, that can challenge the kingdom of darkness, that can challenge men? Who believes that with this truth of the gospel is the source of life? There is no any alternative. You know the rest of the story? Eventually the God that answered by fire show up himself. And when he prayed, rain came back. I'm just telling you the stories of the Bible. Dota, Koran, Abiram, they thought that means they are Mr. Somebody. But the land opened and swallowed them with their wives and their children. Even with their properties. Olorun show Rochelle. And it's all bad bear, Olorun. The land swallowed them. And listen to this. If your husband is doing the wrong thing, don't join him. If your wife is doing a wrong thing, don't join her. Why? Or if you don't shout and say, don't do this, you know, you better say your own. Because when the judgment is going to come, it will affect the whole family. And after they die like that, the supporters group, they be, oh, you have killed them. You have killed them. You are in the tower. Moses, you have killed them. You have killed our leaders. You have killed them. What happened? Fire came from heaven and began to kill them. Because God hates people who are not saying the truth. All the preachers that are not preaching the truth, God knows how to deal with them. Those who are make merchandise of the people. Who are milking the congregation. Don't worry. God will replace them. I said God will do what? He will replace them. Say I am not ashamed. Paul said in Romans 1 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. So the gospel has power. When we say give your life to Jesus. It's because your life is empty without Jesus. And when you give your life to Jesus, the power of God comes into your life. Hallelujah. And that is the first stage of gaining the power of God. It is the power of God unto salvation. You will be saved from sin. Power of sin will be broken. Everything that is holding you burn, God will liberate you. 
Because there is power behind the gospel. Hallelujah. If you think you cannot leave that cigarette. If you are not ready, there is nothing God can do about it. You are not deceiving yourself. He said, the fool make a mock at sin. It is a foolish man, a mad person that will not take the gospel serious. So the first thing, the power we get from the gospel is the power to liberate from sin. Power to be saved. Then if you go to Acts chapter 1 verse 8, Acts 1 8, he said, you will receive power. For ye shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses. Unto me. Both in Jerusalem. And in all Judea. And in Samaria. Unto the uttermost part of the earth. Listen. When you have this power of the Holy Spirit. When you have the power of God. Is the power of the gospel. Because it's the gospel, the good news that tells us about the Father, that tells us about the Son, that tells us about the Holy Spirit. It tells us about the Father who loved the world, who loved the world and gave his only begotten Son. God the Father who loved us is the gospel that tells us that there is a God the Father. And this is what he has done for humanity. He said, and he loved, he gave us his beloved, begotten son. His one and only son. That's what it means. It is the gospel that tells us about Jesus. Who came to take our place. Who died on the cross of Calvary. Who rose again. After he was buried the third day. These are the ingredients of the gospel. So it is the gospel that revealed that to us. And not that alone. It is the gospel that tells us about the Holy Spirit. So Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit here. Say, you will receive power. After the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So the third, I mean, one of the manifestations of the gospel power is the power of the Holy Spirit in the life of a man. Hallelujah. My brother was talking again. The other time about. You know the, the, the Holy Spirit. Breathing upon your life. The power of God upon your life. You know talking about Mary. That Mary. The Holy God. I mean angels said you are going to conceive. And you are going to give birth to a child. And said how can this be. And the angel said don't worry. The power of the most I will come upon you. And the power of the almighty will overshadow you. And that power came. And baby began to grow in the womb of Mary. Hallelujah. 
kile ole se eyin ti e da aye atorun kile ole se kile ole se olorun mi wait there is nothing our god cannot do but all that god will do in the life of a man is packaged in the gospel of the kingdom it is in the gospel it is the power is in is inherent in the gospel and that's why i said you will receive power so mary the, the, the holy spirit came upon mary and without relationship with a man she conceived and gave back to a child hallelujah i don't know the situation you find yourself it's as if no solution the medical say there is no solution the society say there is no solution and it seems that you don't know where to run to the power of the gospel is here this morning to deliver you the holy ghost will come upon you the power of the Lord most i will deliver you the power of god will liberate you if you are thinking of how will it happen you are just worrying yourself you are giving room for doubt the case of mary was so is is different <laughs> it has never happened for somebody to get pregnant without husband her mary now said how can this be and the angel said is the power of god that will come upon you is the spirit of god that will overshadow you i want to tell you today don't think of how will god do it he has done it before he will do it again he has solved problem before he will solve your home problem he has healed the sick before he will heal you from sickness he has delivered from oppressed before he will deliver you from oppressed he has lifted a man from the dung hill and bring him to sit with the princes the same god is alive the same power of the holy spirit is available to take you from the dung hill wherever you find yourself hallelujah wako wa we pe ibo mo ti fe bere to ri pe igba ti gbogbo yan lo lewe iwo o lo omo eyan oko lo lo se igba to ba ya were 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 ti won na dagba opopolopo lo ndu awon mo to loju titi ti won to ye pe won o lo si driving school won won send to come o ga na lo ma so pe mo se nte ni mo se nte ni eh to ri pe lati bi omodun mewa mokola to tin tele moto ka kiri abi ngba tu bayi na o ti dagba not ti 16 o ti 17 18 o ti 20 won wa fi pe mo se nteni mo se teni bo se de driver ni e o e ka haleluya bo nso yen fun awon eyan wa kan le gbo mi dada nigba te yan kan ba so pe eh ise wo ni ise ise driver se ise ni yen ki ise se Anything that the Lord Lord is here, we will not stop. We drive and show. But that we are not carpenter. Oh, but we are. If we are not coming, she she P O P. Oh, she. If we are not coming, she she tile. Oh, she. But we are to yako oko ni baro. Oh, oko. Shumba tani she mina kini tani oki je drive. Ento ba tu amato je ki je drive ani. Eh? But she she ni she bo bo ni kalu guto amato she ko di jaton she. She won't back on your battle, Lolori. I said, I drive an enemy. He said, Drive an emo call. She will call me. I'll be a consequent bunch in Jujiani. She won't back to Wawa with pay ah or Jotty pay. Oh, what in thirty, or if thirty, or if forty. Wawa and quit Ibo Motifa Berry. A Kaleluya. Muni a Kaleluya. She won't move from Niro in Rere. Iro in Yagbara in Rere, who knew we pay. And it over was your do Jesu. Alone, Timanra or do I yep at the restorer of years? 
He said the years that the, that the locust has eaten, the power and caterpillar said it will restore. Bogbo adunti eishu totije bogbo adunti bogbo angon kokora jenu tonti bemi ni nua yewa ni ba tao mokon igba imokon mokon igba tang beni nua eche tamfi eche eche faaji taba wasio do Jesu onlo le ra angon adunta ati sonu pada funwa subanto baba wasio do Jesu eni ayoma balobe eke alleluia she akuko tawa i ti eni to lo si university gan opolopo to lo si university le pe driver no nse abi won gba won si le ise boya ni bank ni kini kan lati fi driver se driver ti o le so ibo ta lo fe gba si se e ka haleluya e ka haleluya o elomi a so pa gbe gi lodo lo n wa igba to jo ba ro se agbe gi lodo ori gi gbe mo e da mi lo n O tu mwa si kwe inkanti on lwa yi e fun owa se zina. Nye kwe ki ishe gbogba koko lo liri ishe nye ishe. Shugwa mwa kanti mwa un sola aroyo ni kwe. Ten yon ba wa sodo jesu iro yan yon. Ti inshe agbara inrele tan soro ni kwa re ni wikwe. Olo un le tuwa ye ni yon to. Eke aleluya. Eke aleluya ye dada. The law can restore your years. God can restructure your life. If you are ready, he will rebrand your life. Praise God. Ni Louis Badan yi, many years ago, ni and it's a dego kiti dolo gwe bai. A dego ki mutos. A dego ki mutos. Ye bang bomba nabi. A dego ki mutos. A dego ki mutos when God was already having, you know, he had a mental problem. They prayed for him. He got healed. And after that, he gave his life to Christ. He was discipled. Now, what can he do? He went to learn uh, uh, vulganizing. Vulganizing. Now, I'm just telling you the way God does his own thing. To tell you that God can restore years for man. Now, he started organizing in Ibadan here. Old press, he said, organizing, thank you, for God. Hey, that me long. I be for God. Aha, he's organizing. Now, that is what he was doing. Shubantan Bagbadra, Taba Agbara Irele Yi. It has worked for others, it will work for you. Now, you see, he was doing that one day. Somebody came to him to do normal tire, to do tire. And the person asked him and said, Ah, I want to be bringing tires from abroad. Can you help me to be selling it? Kini for organize and yeti oba ni tataya. Sheko jora wun. E dami lo wun. E yite wun wadju ye dami lo wun. Shea ekbo yoruba ni. E sha akbo kan. Mo fi yitro mo meje jiko la roi. Praise God. Now. He began to. He said I can do that. And the man brought tires. And he brought tube. And now said sell the tires. Give the money to me. Sell the tubes. Keep the money of the tubes. I'm talking about the power of the gospel. If it has not worked for you, it's because you have not plugged yourself into it. It's because you are not serious with Jesus. That is why you have not experienced it. And uh, that's how the man will bring tire. And because he was faithful, that's another thing. Some people, if you try that kind of business with them, Ati taya ati tubu. Aje jijeni. Aje wani. Ikwa lo ma soko a wana. Eh. Eh. Mi o siri shobu. A wana lekon wana. Wana jya shobu. Wana kwa kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
And the man began to bring tire. He will sell tube, new tube. You keep bring your sell tube and sell tube and sell tube. One now that is how the man selling tube. He got to a point they can say, Ah, please help me buy tire also to sell for myself. Selling tube, selling tires, selling tube, selling tires. The covenant of God, the power of the gospel was working for him. And one day became sellers of vehicles. Hallelujah. You know the journey started from organizing. He began to sell tube. He continued to sell tire. He began to sell vehicle. But if he did not give his life to Christ. If he did not you know, surrender to Jesus. If he's not living a holy life. A faithful life. He would not have been able to do that. All the years he lost. When he was sick. When he was having mental problem. Going crazy. All the years. That the devil has eaten out of his life. God restored for Baba Adegoke. He became Adegoke Motors. Those are the sellers. For sellers of vehicles in this Ibadan. If you are going towards challenge, towards when you live at Yefele, have, have a, you know, and you, are go, you will see that building that stood high. You see Adegoke. Now, people are using that's where, that is how, that Toa, that's how God has blessed a man. Before he died, the old man, he was able to enjoy the best of life. I pray for you this morning. The power of the gospel will come upon your life. You also, you begin to enjoy the best of lives. All the years that have been lost shall be recovered. I can hear your amen shall be recovered. The Lord will decorate your life. In the name of Jesus. There is a power behind the gospel. In 1 Thessalonians, before I close chapter 1 verse 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5. He said, for our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance. Hallelujah. When the gospel comes, when you receive the gospel, it comes with power. Amen. It comes with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can begin to work upon your life. Not that alone. And it comes in much assurance. That is to tell you that if you believe, much assurance means this gospel message you are preaching to you. This gospel of the kingdom. It is real. It is sure. Hallelujah. It is what? It is sure. And that's why we are preaching the gospel. That's why we are declaring the gospel. That's why we believe in the power of the gospel. The gospel of the kingdom. Not another gospel. That some people went to go and preach to the Galatians. To confuse them. And Paul said... I am surprised. I marvel that you have shifted to another gospel. Which is not gospel. There are a lot of things going on in the body of Christ today. And yeah, I want to, I said it sometimes, I said, if you are here, you know, God is going to make you a millionaire this year. Everybody say, Amen. I was watching one something, everybody brought foam. You are going to receive miracle alert. Miracle alert. Ah, if you are using Zenith Bank, let it be, receive miracle Allah. Amen. If you are using uh, UBA, you receive miracle Allah. Amen. They are just <laughs> deceiving themselves. Because I told you in the course of this meeting, every parable that Jesus Christ gave, it is called the parables of the kingdom. You will say that the kingdom of God is like And I said, each of those parables, 
they represent the gospel and the Bible doctrines. Because one of those a parable, he said there was a woman who lost a golden coin. And the woman took a broom. She, she swept everywhere until she was able to see that coin. He's talking about diligence. Diligence. Can you share? Hallelujah. The woman was diligent. She said she swept everywhere. She did not give up until she got the golden coin. There is a gold waiting for you somewhere. And it is in the place of hard work. It is in the place of diligence. It is in the place of not giving up. It is in the place of continuity. But if you just think that ah, eh, I, now you are not going to work. Now, you see, it's not going to work for you. So every message of the gospel, every parable of Jesus is tailored towards the kingdom. What the kingdom represents. Your king, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on half as it is in heaven. And it is only when we submit and we preach the gospel in truth. That is when people can get the miracle and the power of the gospel. For somebody to say, yes, I want 10 people here that can give 200,000 naira. If you can give that 200,000 naira, before the end of this year, you become a billionaire. You may be a millionaire. And when you call 200, maybe out of the 200, only one person come out. And I say, okay, if you don't have 200, eh, two, <laughs> two, <laughs> 20,000. Those who know that kind of pastors, they know that they still coming back to 200 naira. Even if it starts from 2 million, you will come to 200. From 200 to 20. From 20 to 2,000. From 2,000, which is born 200 naira. That's why he said, okay, all right, all right. At least two months be there. If it is 200 naira, he is a cheat. Holy Spirit did not tell him anything. That is not the gospel. That is not the gospel. And if you, you know, today so many preachers, they attach every miracle to money. If you don't give, you cannot be healed. If you don't give money, you cannot prosper. If you don't give money, you cannot do this. What kind of thing is that? If we preach the gospel, it has an assurance. I close by saying that people of God, he said the gospel has much assurance. As what? Much assurance. I know my tomorrow is good. The gospel has declared it. I know I will not fail. Because the gospel has said it. I know God will back me up. Because there is power of the gospel. No matter demons, forces of darkness, I know they can't, they can't wreck my destiny. Why? There is the power of the gospel. I present that power to you this morning. As we are closing conv um, convocation 2023, I pray, even if it's your first day of attending this meeting, may this power work in your life. May this power transform your life. Rise to your feet and let us pray. You are going to pray just three powerful prayers this morning. The first one is to tell the Lord. You say, my father, my father, have mercy upon me. Whatever in my life, that will not make the gospel power to work in my life. Lord, I surrender it. Let the power of the cross deliver me from the power of sin. Come on, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. If there is sin in your life, your life will not move forward. You must tell the Lord, forgive me. Jesus, come into my life. Don't deceive yourself. 
you should know if you don't have Jesus, you must repent. Every pollution in my life, any form of idolatry, Lord Jesus, cleanse me. Lord, sanctify me. Lord, purify me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. How many of you want the power of the gospel to operate in your life? Lift up your two hands and shout. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My life is available. Let the power of the gospel transform my life. Change my story to glory. Oh, you shout and pray. My life is available. Let my life be changed. Let the story of my life be changed. I want to explain the power of the gospel. The power of the gospel of the kingdom. Pray for yourself now. Pray for your wife. Pray for your children. Pray for your husband. The God Almighty, I want to experience the power of the gospel. Let the power of the gospel begin to transform my life. Begin to change my destiny. Begin to change my story. In Jesus' name we pray. Loki de ayon of bo bo aye. Pomolon shagun iku. Fiti ti bala yoru ino. Pomolon luxo dua. restoration. I just told you, I didn't want to tell you that Adegoke, Babadegoke was shamed. 
en to tin se were ton so mole ti won gbadura fun to fi gba deliverance ni ki kan se pe eni to se gangan gan lasan that was a man that they should wreck life to ti e ko won de mole won so mole ton gbadura fun titi to fi gba iwo san eni te ju so ko ti pari fun olorun wa re brand life o wa je ikan ninu awon olowo ibadan ko toku mo fe ko gbadura wa so fun olorun oluwa gbogbo odun ti mo ti sonu gbogbo odun ti ota ti gba lowo mi gbogbo odun ti mo ti fi sofo eyin olorun ti ra odun pada olu e wu aye mi ni de bi ojo ori mi ibi to ye ki nti de ohun to ye ki ngbe se olorun e so kale sinu aye mi olu ababa iraye e tun olorun ti tun ni da e tun aye mi da pe oruko jesus lo meta ko gbadura tell the lord restore the years that have been lost restore the lost years restore the lost years he can do it both here ko se tele tele olon le to e pada so on to ma se to ma fi de yan gbogbo on totally repent olorun le rebrand life he is god The power of the gospel, we do it. Lord, I want to experience the power of the gospel. Oba tin tu ni da tin tu ni ro etu aye mi da etu aye mi ro. Iya nu to koja ori to koja ojo ori mi oluwa fi be aye mi wo. Thank you, Jesus. Bo fani sha ju die si. To ba de radura yen gba iya nu asele nu aye o. Ba se ndupe leni lati gba ire ni o. Iwo na gba ire, gba ire. Ajo du odun yi gba ire e. The convocation of this year take the blessing take your own miracle the power of god the power of the gospel operate in my life operate in my life operate in my destiny let there be restoration gbogbo odun to ti sofo ni ojo ri aye mi olu e da pada Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let the power of the God to set me free. Are you sick? Boy, I'm shy, sonny. I've got a team bed with you. Tan wasu e fun ala aroyi. Olu aje koto misile. Bogbonta fi de aye mi. Bogbonta fi de i kui mi. Bogbonta fi de a yon mami. Bogbonta fi de i ogo mi. Olu a, olu a. Ina la ti onu koma ija on sonu. Tu aye mi sile kro du ikbe kum. Awon elomi o ti mi mu no fi fi di aye re igbo mi mu won ti fi di aye re ohun to fi di aye re oluwa gba mi la ro yi apara yin rere ko tumi sile ask for the power of the holy spirit let the rivers of water come upon your life reviving your spiritual life you are now operating where you're supposed to be operating let all hindrances be cut asunder let there be restoration of all things let the glory of god be restored let the power of god tabernacle over my life In Jesus.
Jesus mighty name we pray stretch your hand to the altar there is power I told you Balaam raised Balak raised altar to curse Israel but there is an altar here when you see the Christian altar like this is the altar of the cross of Calvary I pray for you this morning the power of the altar of the cross of Calvary where Jesus was raised that this physical altar is representing I release solution to every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus <clears throat> whatever the enemy has used as a bondage against your life and your destiny I decree today let the chains and shackles be cut asunder in the name of Jesus there is power in the gospel of the kingdom in this church we preach the truth to you we tell you the way it is we are not making merchandise of you I will feel your the miracle that is more than your age ojo wo lati e bi na ojo wo lo daye bo koko gbadura na gbogbo odun to ti sonu ko lu ako dagbara fun o niti asiyori niti ipese niti igbega ni bo niti lati mo ni ogbon olorun lati ni oye gbogbo on ti ota ti se to ti faye re seyin olorun tin fast forward aye ni ko da si oro re ko lu ako fa o si waju mo wa gbadura pe iyanu to koja ori re oya ma gba bayi lorun ko jesus ma gba bayi ohun ti o se awon yan ni ha bawo lo se se ona wo lo gbe gba a a so ohun na ti dara ilo yin bo niyan a a ohun na a a o ma ile ohun na ma ti len to ni le ise a a o ma ti n se rere ohun na ma ti ni se owo ise e ma n te si waju mo gbadura loruko jesus christ recovery to pe mi loruko jesus christ mo n wa sun yin rere otito loruko jesus christ to je pe agbe ipade ile lori nipa gbara yin rere mo gbadura iyanu to kojo oju ajo ojo ori re oya ma gba olorun orun ko da si oro re ebi re olorun orun ko da si ebi re gbogbo n ta n pe ni aro kan to mu ibanu je wa lori omo ni lori aya ni lori oko ni lori idawole re ni gbogbo ibanu je ojo pipe ile lanu ko ma gbe won mi loruko jesus ile ko lanu ko ma gbe won mi I pray for you that everything that is hindering you in your family lineage that has been hindering them, Mofai, Wajade. Your own case, you are removed. What is killing others will not kill you. What is messing others up will not mess you up. The number of your years you will spend. The God of the covenant of this ministry in the last 30 years that we are alive, that we did not bury we did not ah, God show us mercy. I pray Jehovah God will show you mercy. Amen. You will move forward. Amen. It is your turn to testify. Amen. It is your turn to praise God. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. I said, so shall it be. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. For I have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Can you say that amen three times? Amen. 